More than 150 years, the greatest show on earth has entertained audiences. May 7th, the circus lights will dim for the last time. The circus is in Cincinnati through Sunday. The now's Tanya O'Rourke talked to two performers who know the end is near. Ever since I was four, that's when I saw my first show and I said that right there, that's what I want to do for a living and here I am all those many years later. Here we go! Brian Wright's dreams came true when he ran away with the circus three years ago. I got the gig and here I am all these years later loving every second of it. So when it was announced the circus would close for good. At first it was very sad, but then I think about it and I'm like, wow. Come May 7th in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm going to be a part of history. I was really shocked at first. Even though he's a clown, Stephen Craig can't hold back his sadness. The further we get to the end, the harder it is. This circus has thrilled generations, a slice of Americana about to disappear. Come on, we're ready to These performers know each performance is important. You do it because it's the last show for somebody. In 2015, Ringling Brothers Circus retired all their elephants. The three rings were already gone. And in seven weeks, the carnival music will stop. For these performers, the feelings are mixed. The big show is gone, but circus doesn't have to be. There are still circus fans. There are still circus performers, and they'll just have to meet on a different stage. Do you think about that day yet? Try not to. I don't want to imagine it. I just want to experience it. Are you counting down? Do you know how many shows you have left? Nope. nope. Not going to do it? Uh-uh. Some people are, but not me. I'm just living it one day at a time, and when it all comes to a head, we'll bow out gracefully. Oh, very good. Tanya O'Rourke reporting for us. Uh, again, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus goes through Sunday at U.S. Bank Arena. Get out there if you can with the kids. I went.